Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my first leaderboard for Miss Diva 2021. So here it is, my first leaderboard for Miss Diva 2021. So the 19 official candidates have already been selected and there are still 5 ladies who are competing for your votes for the last spot in the Miss Diva competition. So for now, I will be releasing my top 10 favorites based only on the 19 delegates that were confirmed and selected as official candidates. Now let me just start by saying that thank you by saying thank you very much to everyone who's been sending me video clips, who's been sending me all the information that I needed that I can't find anywhere about these ladies because it really helped me a lot formulate this top 10. And mostly my basis for this first leader, but this is just the first. So it could still change in the next few weeks as we come closer to the finals. So my primary basis here are the profile videos and the walk, the catwalk videos that I have seen. And also, let me just say that in comparison to Adeline's batch, I believe that this is more of an open competition because there's really no clear front runner as of the moment unlike Adeline where we knew from the very start that she's going to win I mean I'm not sure about you but at least that's what I felt while watching her edition now here are my current top 10 and let's not take it any further starting with my number 10 Sanal Kokreja when I saw her I was like oh wow I mean her beauty screams royalty elegance and I believe that she's got one of the best faces aside from that she seems like a great speaker too but why number 10? The walk kind of disappoints me. I mean, the facial expression was the same all throughout and the walk was a little bit stiff and she needed more of that personality when she walked. So if she could work on that, she could easily skyrocket in this list. My number 9 is Divita Rai. I am not sure how everybody feels about this one, but I like her. Her profile video caught my attention because she speaks so well. You can feel the spontaneity when she speaks and she sounded very smart too. Her walk was also decent and it was actually one of the good ones based on what I have seen. I'd, li I'd like her to explore different stylings so that she could find the best ones that would fit her perfectly and something that would really emphasize her true beauty. My number eight, is Lavanya Sangwan. Her catwalk video was so good and I wish it was longer so we could be able to see the consistency of her walk. I love her energy in her profile video when, and she has the confidence in her when she speaks which I really love and she's beautiful too. I also wanted her to find stylings that would make her a standout or else she could easily be overshadowed the other candidates if she doesn't but as of the moment I really like her so far. My number seven is Aishwarya Kamal. I like the introduction video and the catwalk video that I have watched because she looked so polished. Her catwalk video kind of caught my attention because she looked stunning in it and then when she smiled it gave me Miss Universe 2010 Jimena Navarrete kind of resemblance. I'm not sure if you noticed that but that's what came into me right away when I saw her in that catwalk video. For her introduction video it is good although I need her to be more spontaneous because there were some kind of distracting pauses. Overall, I think she's great and I'm looking forward to follow her journey. My number six, Ojas V. Sharma. This woman also caught my attention when I listened to her speak and as I watched her in the profile video. She also got an impressive educational background. She speaks so well and I love her overall aura in that video. Her walk could still be polished, it could be stronger, but as early as this time, she'll be one of the good ones for sure. My number five is Ritika Katnani. She's only 19 and I believe she's one of the youngest in this batch. What a beautiful speaker. Her profile video was definitely a treat to watch and listen to. Her walk was also one of the best ones. But what I love about her is that she knows the right facial expressions in the right moments. Where she gives drama, sweetness, and fierceness. And I love that. One of my favorite catwalk videos for sure. My number four is Sidi Gupta. I love her profile video because she looked well polished, well styled, and she's stunning. And for someone like her, 
who placed, who not only competed but also placed in the top 12 of Feminine Miss India, it's already given that she's one of the great speakers of this batch and it's very clear as you watch and listen to her in her profile video. Her catwalk video was okay, there's still some polishing to be done on the turns, raise the energy, raise the energy level a little bit higher and work on the facial expressions as well. My number three is Akshita Singh. I like this one. When I watch her profile video, I already sense a potential front runner in her. She speaks so confidently. I love her personality when she speaks and there's no wonder because she mentioned that she is a state level debater. Impressive. She also have this strong and fierce look which could actually work on her advantage if she will be able to find the right styling for her that will emphasize that beautiful fierce face. Definitely one of my favorites so far. My number two is Ankita Singh. Oh my gosh, this is your queen of the runway. I believe that if I have to rank all the catwalk videos that I've seen, this is her catwalk video. It's definitely going to be my number one. She's a model and there is no surprise that her catwalk is super good. Her catwalk video was just amazing. Loved her walk, her turns are solid, clean, and I love the angle of the video that was captured from the bottom because it feels like she looks super tower-esque and it made her look a lot taller, which works perfectly on her. And goodness, her profile video, I mean, wow, she looks stunning. I mean, the face, although I would prefer a lighter and brighter makeup for her to show more of that youthful beauty, but definitely one of the ladies that impressed me based on what I have seen. But as of the moment, my current number one for Miss Diva 2021 is Harnaz Sandhu. I am in love with her. I mean, I love her profile video because she looks super beautiful, well-styled, and I love how she speaks with so much passion and conviction. I can really feel her energy. She speaks with so much connection. And that's why I connected to her right away. Loved her personality, and I love how she used hand gestures, which gives more impact to her message. Her walk, one of the best as well. It could be stronger with some polishing, but in comparison to others, it's definitely one of my favorites. So I feel like she definitely belongs to the list of the front runners. So as of this time, here are my current top 10. And I would love to know your opinion as well. This is just based on my personal perspective. Although some people from India most likely helped me with all the information, I made sure that this list wasn't influenced by other people. It is just purely based on whom I really think did very, very well. So for your case, I would love to know your favorites. If I missed one, I need those information as well. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.